welcome back to my channel so today's makeup tutorial is gonna be on this look right here and it's an easy black smoky eye I'm also styling my new hair from Valencia Rose and you guys know how obsessed I am with Valencia Rose hair and I've really been obsessing over like some smoky eye recently and you guys there is nothing as easy as a black smoky eye I feel like black smoky eye is one of the easiest smoky eye to do like I think I used just three eyeshadows for this look right here and also you guys my new hair can you spot this new hair color like this really do get me in the mood for fall because you know you can never go wrong with a burgundy red when it comes to fall and also Valencia Rose are having a promotion right now where you get 42% off of your order plus free shipping using this coupon code right here so make sure you take advantage of that and of course let's try and get this video to 2000 likes you know what to do just hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to see how I achieved this gorgeous black smoky eye. Just keep on watching. Come, come. Hi, come, come. Hey, come on now. All right, beauty. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And the very first thing I'm going to do will be to apply tape at the outer corners of my eyes. And this will give me a nice sharp and clean edge. And of course, I can apply an eyeshadow without an eyeshadow primer, so I'll be using the MAC Paint Pot in Paintily. it. For our first eyeshadow, I'll be using this matte cream color for my brow bone, and this will serve as a brow bone highlight. And I'm so happy I got my hands on the highly pigmented Juves Place eyeshadow palette and I will pick up Morocco from the Northern 2 palette which is kind of an orange shade and apply that as my transitional color and to be honest with you guys this palette is beyond wet it's very pigmented blends out incredibly well and the price point is overwhelming very very cheap Next, I'll dip my brush in the Masquerade palette, still from Juvia's Place, and pick up Zulu, which is kind of a maroon brown color, and then begin applying it on my crease, making sure everything is well blended. And yes, I'm getting my life with this music, another music break. And... <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do will be to apply a gel liner as my base before applying the black eyeshadow and this will ensure the shadows apply very pigmented and once you apply the gel liner, you go in and spend as much time as you want blending. Just make sure you blend it so good. And now begin applying the black eyeshadow on my marble lid and while applying your gel liner and black shadow make sure you only apply them on the marble lid area without taking them into the crease because you don't want the crease to be too dark thereby making you look like a dracoon. Just concentrate the colors on the lid and then slightly blend it into the crease. Over here I will line my waterline and I'm using the slick twist up pencil in midnight. Then here I'll apply a sharp wing liner using my NYC liquid liner. To coat my lashes, I will use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'll apply these gorgeous mink lashes from Dazzy Cosmetics called No Basic Glam. Moving on to the face, I will prime using Becca Primer and you guys know how oily my face can get especially on the T-zone area so I always prefer to use a mattifying primer and I love applying it with a pen brush also concentrating it on the nose because I'm breaking out on the left side of my nose like it's horrible. <laughs> Next, I'll cover up any skin imperfections I have using a dark brown concealer from my Freedom Makeup Pro Conceal and Correct palette. And you guys, if you've tried to cover up your blemishes with other colored concealer and it still shows through, try a darker concealer. It covers everything so well without your blemishes peeking through. And of course, I'll apply my Hard or Die foundation, which is the Kat Von D Lucky Tattoo foundation in Deep 71. And this is my holy grail because it covers up my blemishes and gives me that very gorgeous flawless application. I'll highlight using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 and I totally forgot how amazing this product is. Just decided to bring it out today and I fell in love again. To 
to set the areas i highlighted i will use my favorite under eye setting powder and it's the sasha buttercup powder make sure you check out my description box for coupon codes on most of these products i'm using For setting the whole face, I will use my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in C6 and I will concentrate it on the areas I didn't highlight. Going back to the eyes, I will smoke out my bottom lash line with the gel liner we used earlier and then I will go in with the eyeshadow we used on the crease. Over here, I'll pick up this beautiful cream shade and use it to highlight my inner tear dot and of course, apply some mascara underneath my lower lashes. Now, I'll begin contouring my face and I'll be using my old body which is the City Colors Contour Effects Palette and I'll basically start to contour my cheekbones, my hairline, jawline, my nose and this will give me a chiseled look. For blush, I will use the MAC Fever Blush and this is a rich reddish burgundy color and I will simply apply it on the apples of my cheeks. You guys know I love my highlights so I will be highlighting my cheeks with the MAC O Darling Highlight. I'm still getting my life with some Nigerian music, but for the lips, I will line with NYX Brown Lip Liner. And then apply this gorgeous pink lipstick from MAC. So to finish up this look, I will add some lip gloss from Motif Cosmetics. For the hair, I have on Filipino straight hair in 222 inches, 120 and a 16 inch matching lace closure all from ValenciaRoseHair.com and this was bleached into burgundy red color made into a wig for me and I have on a large when it comes to the cap size so I just want to stretch out this wig and here I'm using a hair straightener and I will begin straightening the hair in small sections and I also love to use a small comb to straight out my hair because it gives the best result. I'll basically do the same all over the hair and this hair is so beautiful, no shedding, no tangle and the quality is amazing and as you all can see it accepted the bleach so well and still came out so soft and very sleek and this company is my top best when it comes to high quality virgin human hair, I love their hair to bits. After that, I will just pull the hair behind my ears and this simply completes this look. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video very very soon. Bye!